This is the karma that God will give to the evil narcissists. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Narcissist and Karma channel. Ever felt that simmering rage, unable to comprehend why a narcissist in your life seems to flourish while you're left bearing the weight in silence? Witnessing someone exploit others mercilessly without a hint of divine intervention can be maddening. But has your mind ever drifted towards the biblical admonitions against the pitfalls of pride, self-obsession, and false worship. In such testing times, it's only natural to yearn for support you can truly trust. That's where our one-on-one -on -one guidance fits in, available for a modest token of a dollar per week. With our devoted professionals waiting in the wings, you can power through the hurdles and strengthen your faith with tailored tools. Gear up to curb the narcissist's twisted sense of supremacy. Use the link in the description to set up a consultation right away Join the ranks of those equipped with spiritual lucidity and resilience, marching forward with faith in unison. Here's the catch. Fostering narcissistic tendencies can be a perilous path lined with stunted growth. To shield yourself from falling into this entangling web and hold others responsible for their conduct, absorbing the wisdom that the Bible has to offer on narcissism is key. By divine design, the Bible illustrates how God permits narcissists to taste the bitter harvest of their own actions. At first glance, skeptics who scrutinize the world through earthly eyes might dismiss these biblical insights. Take, for example, Philippians 2-3, which urges us to embrace humility and place others' needs above our own. Unraveling the rich tapestry of their authentic context, we can appreciate the essence of altruism, the virtue of serving others. In fact, one of the most transformative acts we can perform to fuel our growth is to willingly make sacrifices for others. Living by God's principles of love for Him and our fellow beings sets us on an unwavering path to true fulfillment. As Jesus professed, Acts 20.35, the joy of giving surpasses that of receiving. Moreover, Matthew 16.25 illustrates Jesus' warning. Those who prioritize self-preservation may ironically end up losing everything, while those willing to risk it all for Christ are set to reclaim their rewards. Tragically, narcissists are powerless to experience the profound gratification birthed from aiding others. Devoted solely to advancing their agendas, they wield manipulation to ensnare those surrounding them. Likened to insatiable black holes, they lay waste to all in their wake aggravating their own plight through unquenchable self-absorption and perpetual taking. As 1 Corinthians 13 proclaims, those incapable of extending affection are devoid of true value. Authentic love is rooted in the act of self-sacrifice for another's benefit. Without sharing our blessings with the underprivileged, we are left hollow. God's divine message explicitly cautions that egotism breeds suffering, yet humanity retains free will in choosing its path. Narcissists, in their unique misfortune, inflict anguish upon themselves, rendering any divine chastisement extraneous. God tolerates narcissists' pervasive loneliness and isolation, born of the devastation they wreak upon relationships. Betrayal's shadow garners them a notorious reputation for untrustworthiness. For instance, though not naming all who hurt him during his trials, Paul faced abundant turmoil in his ministry as evidenced in Romans 16, 17, 18. In these passages, he admonishes those permitting selfish desires to subvert the gospel of Jesus Christ, spreading disunity through alluring flattery and deceit, all while serving their own interests over the Lord's. Obeying God's commands, Christians are to eschew those who prioritize themselves over others. Thus, vigilance and evading discord-spreading individuals within the church safeguard our faith from toxic influences while maintaining focus on God. Such people in time find themselves forsaken and utterly alone. Psalm 37.12 advises against envying evildoers who will wilt like ephemeral grass. God condemns them publicly as a warning to others, rendering their sins a self-inflicted penalty. As 1 Timothy 5.19.20 prescribes, accusing an elder requires the corroboration of two witnesses and persistent sinners must face open disgrace to deter similar transgressions in others. Mocking the Almighty proves futile, as one inevitably reaps what is sown. 
Divine grace offers opportunities for redemption, but refusals will lead to inescapable retribution. In James 3, 15, 18, we are cautioned against harboring envy or self-importance in our hearts or indulging in futile ostentation. Instead, let us aspire to embrace divine wisdom, brimming with empathy, benevolence, and mercy, untouched by discord or brutality. By pursuing justice and harmony in our lives, we can sow the seeds for a tranquil existence. Surrendering our egoistic inclinations, we must endeavor to honor God through service to others. Before concluding today's video, it's vital to share our exclusive offering of private consultations, available at an unbeatable investment of a mere $1 per week, designed to help you vanquish narcissistic tendencies and cultivate a selfless, jubilant life in Christ. The entry points to our consultation service are outlined below for your convenience. We are deeply grateful for your consideration of our consultation services, and may God's abundant blessings accompany you on your journey towards selflessness and joy. Thank you for dedicating your precious time to this video, and may God's grace shine upon you.